Hey everyone, so for today's video, I wanted to give you an update on tulips that I planted last year and how they are doing so far this spring. So I planted tulips kind of in four different areas last year. In, was it end of October, early November, I planted bulbs in two of my raised beds out on the front deck. I planted some in two raised beds on the back deck, I planted some in smaller individual pots, four different pots. And then I'm also including in here an update on the tulips that I planted in 2021 that I dug up last May and transplanted down to the parkway because that was my first time doing that. I'll link the video down below where I actually went through this process and then I'll let you know if it worked and if I'm gonna be doing it again. So starting with the front beds, uh, all the bulbs that I planted in the two beds out front are from Color Blends. I can't remember the name of the mixes. I should probably look back at the video where I planted them, um, but I'm pretty sure in the largest raised bed in the center, that has a mix of bulbs that are like pink and deep purple. And that bed is, I think it's about 48 inches long, 38 wide, about a foot deep. And then the other raised bed is similar, it's 48 long, I think it's just 24 wide, and then again, also about a foot deep. And good news, all of these tulips are sprouting. More are sprouting in the larger bed. I'm still hoping all of them come up in the back bed, but there are sprouts happening there also. This is the second year that the tulips that I planted in the fall have come back in the spring in those beds, so I'm gonna continue to plant them there every fall. Um, so, all I did is I planted them, like I said, late October, early November. I didn't water them in because I know that we get so much rain, I didn't have to. And last year, any of the bulbs that I lost were due to too much moisture over the winter. So I didn't give any extra moisture, I didn't cover them, I didn't do anything other than planting them, and they are all coming back. So that is really exciting. I know that at least for me, that method typically works. Uh, they're not blooming yet, obviously they're still sprouts, but I will for sure keep you updated on when they are all blooming. From that, let's talk quickly about the ones in the parkway, because what I did last May is after the tulips in the two front beds were done blooming, I cut off the flowers, the leaves were still green, I dug up all of the bulbs and carried them downstairs and planted them in the parkway, which is the area here between the sidewalk and the street. And then I left the leaves on when they were down there, let them yellow die back before cutting them off just so that it could provide energy to the bulb to grow next year. And I thought in my area, bulbs always came back, but I guess a lot of people don't have good luck with tulip bulbs coming back. I mean, eventually I think they will die out, but I have a bunch of tulips now sprouting in the parkway. So that's gonna be my plan going forward. With any of the bulbs that I plant up here, I'm gonna have a parkway full of tulips. I imagine at some point I'm gonna to have to stop when I run out of room. But the reason I don't leave them in my raised beds is, one, I think I would just damage them too much or have to move them too much by planting my summer annuals in there. Again, it's not like there's a bunch of space or it's super deep in the beds. Uh, I would probably have to remove too many anyway, but also with the amount of water that I'm giving the annuals throughout the rest of the year, I think it's very likely that they would rot. So basically, I don't want them to get too much moisture and I don't want them to take up the space when I don't have a lot of space in the first place. But maybe I'll try doing that some other year. I don't know, but for now, I'm going to dig up all the bulbs that I have and move them down to the parkway, which is really exciting because then I'll just keep adding more and more tulips downstairs, which is also the only part of my garden people can see. So it's nice to spread a little bit of flower joy that way. So those two are successful. Another success was planting the tulips in my four gray pots. These pots are from my mom. I get a lot of people asking where they're from. I have no idea where she got them from. They're old, there's some cracks in them, but I love them. I did plant bulbs in these, again, the fall of 2021. They all rotted in the spring of 22, they were all rotten. I didn't do anything to them that year. I just left them out. And again, too much moisture would just get so much rain so much snow throughout the winter and especially in the early spring that they just couldn't handle it. So what I did differently last fall is I planted them up, I watered them in once, I put them into the greenhouse and that is where they stayed all winter. I didn't have to add any water at any other point in time. I think the next time they got water is when I moved them out of the greenhouse and it rained and they are thriving. So that is gonna be my plan for any smaller pots. 
either putting them in the greenhouse, and yes, the greenhouse did get cold enough so that, you know, tulip bulbs need a certain period of cold temperatures, and it still got cold enough for that, but it protected them from the rain. So it was perfect for me. If you don't have anything like that, you can always just like lay tarps. I know some people just kind of push uh, their tulip bulb containers under tables if you have anything outside, and also just like saran wrap over the top or something like that. But basically anything that's gonna keep the moisture out over the winter and early spring so that your bulbs don't rot. Now let's move on to my fail, or what I'm 95% sure is my fail. So what was completely new to me was planting bulbs in the raised beds out back because I just got the raised beds out back last fall. I filled two of them with soil. The middle bed I planted actually daffodils and tulips from a garden center and they were gonna be so pretty. I think the tulips were like a mix of like a purpley blue color with the yellow daffodils. I was really looking forward to that, but they have not come up yet. And since things are coming up everywhere else and not there, I'm gonna assume they're rotted. What we're gonna do today is dig my hand down, see if I can find a bulb and see how squishy it is. I'm probably gonna leave the bulbs in there anyway, the rest of them, just, you know, in case by some miracle, something decides to bloom. So that was in the center bed. And then the bed to the left of that, which is the exact same size, that one I put bulbs that smell that I got from Amazon. So I ordered them from Amazon, it looked like they had mold on them, they kind of smelled a little weird, but I figured since I had them, I might as well try to plant them. So I'm not shocked those didn't come up, but I can't say necessarily it was the uh, moldy appearance or too much water. So why I think it didn't work in the raised beds out back is those are, they're longer, than my raised beds out front, but they're also a lot narrower. Like I think they're just maybe 11 inches wide and they're also deeper. I think they're about maybe, is it somewhere between 17 to 20 inches deep? And because they don't have as much surface area that hits the sun compared to my raised beds out front, which are both wider and just more surface area for the sun to hit the soil, I think the ones in back just held again too much moisture. So what I'm planning to do next year, because I really do love the view out of the back, and I would love to see it filled with tulips, I think next year I'm gonna take the tarp that I used to cover my flower cart, which I don't think I'm gonna cover again because that just turned it into kind of a giant sail um, that would get pushed around the deck in the wind, but I think I'm gonna cut that tarp up into sizes that will cover the raised beds and then cover those for the winter. I either use like something heavy to set on the sides of it, I might use like bungee cords to tie it down, I'll still figure that out, but that is gonna be my plan because I do wanna plant tulips back there, I don't want them to rot with too much rain, so I'm just gonna cover them and see how that goes. But I think three out of four successes isn't terrible. So what we're gonna to do today is fix the failure, and how I'm gonna do that is with pre-sprouted tulip bulbs that I got from Home Depot. So this is just a mix. I don't even think it has a specific name, it just says tulips. And then there's a bunch of different colors on there. So I got two of these, they were $13 each, $12.98. And I'm gonna plant them in one of the raised beds. I'm just gonna do the center one because I didn't wanna get too many tulips pre-sprouted. Um, you know, tulips aren't here for that long of a time and really the center bed is what I see out there the most. So I'm gonna plant those into it. That way I can have tulips and pretend that this whole issue never happened. Uh, so let's go ahead and head outside. It's still slightly colder than I would prefer, but that is what the tulips like. I will go outside, I will dig up a bulb that's in there. We'll see how squishy it is. And then we'll get to planting these bulbs into that bed. We're out on the back deck now. So you can see obviously these are the four that I overwintered in the greenhouse and they're doing perfectly. Back here, this is the bed where I planted the bulbs from the garden center, so I know they were good quality. And then this is the bed where I planted the Amazon bulbs. I also sprinkled in some lettuce seeds to make me feel better that the bulbs weren't coming up. So I'm not going to do anything with this bed, but I am going to plant the tulips that I got from Home Depot all in this bed. So let's go ahead and dig down and see if we can find what I assume is going to be a very squishy bulb. Is that even? No, that was just a clump of dirt. I feel something. You know what? Eh. I was going to say it's not that squishy, 
like I've definitely had squishier bulbs in my pots from last year, but the stem feels very soft. But you know what, I'm gonna pop this back in here. I'm gonna leave them and if, again, they decide to live and thrive, I'll be pleasantly surprised. So let's just tuck you back in there like nothing happened. And then I'm gonna plant the other tulip bulbs right on top. So I have the main clump here that came out of the pot and I'm just going to carefully separate the bulbs and roots and plant them right in the bed like nothing ever rotted in here. Look at that, problem solved. Would you look at that? It is like the bulbs never rotted in the first place. Oh, it's so much fun seeing those full of green now too and not just these pots. And again, I just, I love the view over here with the church in the back. So I'm just imagining colorful tulip bulbs. When I look out the windows back here or sit back here, if it's warm enough, it actually is warming up a bit now. So this is nice. So yeah, this is gonna be really fun. I also forgot what varieties I planted in here. I think these were also some of the color blends, maybe, we'll see. Um, so this should be a mix of like more warm colors. We'll see what these are. It's also nice too, not that they're kind of at the same stage. They should be in bloom around the same time because these definitely started blooming earlier from being inside of the greenhouse. Oh, but this makes my heart happy. So see, even if you make some garden mistakes, Something like this is easily fixable. So that's gonna be everything for today's video. I didn't do anything special for the tulip bulbs. I didn't add any amendments to the soil because they're not gonna be in there that long. I didn't water them in because we've had rain for the last few days and so the soil is already wet. We have rain again in the forecast. So it seems like, I mean, I rarely hand water anything here until maybe like mid to late May. I mean, that can always change. You never know for sure, but we definitely have wetter than average springs, I would say. Um, so that's gonna be everything. So that was really fun. I'm really glad there's something alive there. We'll kind of see how the rest of the bulbs do. They weren't as squishy as I thought. We'll see if anything happens. I will update you and let you know. But I mean, if they also come up too, that's just more tulips for everybody. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.